We are just now leaving the parking lot to go on a hike to Devil's Bathtub. So Devil's Bathtub is, it's got two routes. There's the Devil's Fork Loop, which is about seven miles, they say. Everybody measures it between eight and 10, depending on how many loops they do around streams. But there's a shorter way to, it's about two miles, but it crosses more creeks. So we're gonna be going over nine of these, or similar, on our way to go see the Devil's Bathtub. It's gonna be beautiful, I can't wait. We're parked in the upper lot because the lower lot, the one that's closer, is not fun to drive on. You don't want to go in there if you're not in a four-wheel drive that's raised up a little bit. I'm so excited for this trip. At the trailhead, there's almost always a map, so we take a picture of it with our phone and get our bearings before we go in. We've reached our first water crossing. It's prep time. Because we just have to cross that. They're not that slippery. Go get mama. She's like, oh, I, that's moving kind of fast, dad. I'm scared. Babe, you want to go my way? You and I will go together. How's that? You and I can go together. Watch my step. Oh, that's not extremely cold. Yes, it is. Bay. You're in the way now. Go get mama. That was a little slick. You made it further than me, Bay. Look at you. Look at you go. Hmm, I'm hesitant. Which way would be better? I've got long legs, but I don't know how slippery it is. Whew! Very, apparently. Bay, back over here. Come on, Bay. Let's go in, let's go in, Bay. Good girl! Good job, Bay. If you go to the right, you've got seven to 10 miles, depending on who you believe. Go to the left, you've got my bathtub. One important thing to note when you're on this trail, follow the yellow blazes. You put it in your backpack again? No. Why have a look at feet so I'm not to worry about putting it in the backpack? I'm going to put it in the Ziploc bag just in case it's off. It does look faster though, I tell you that. Be careful. Bay, wait your turn. Bay, quit pulling, honey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, wait. doing really good with her oh now careful tinkers nope not down that way tinkers come on tinks good girl she's at cross purposes to you 
<laughs> I want higher rocks. Hold on, I'll look for it. Is it in a plastic bag? My phone fell out of my pocket. It is in a Ziploc bag. And we did find it. And Ray is retrieving it for me. Trapped on a rock. Looks like it's still dry inside. Nice. Check it out. Not still dry inside. Not still dry. Caught water. You say it's water resistant. Yeah, turn it around. Upside. Thank you. There's water all over the back and all over the case. Okay, I'll get it out of the case. So let's get out the pack, the, the towel that we've got. We'll wrap it in the towel. Okay. And then put that back in my backpack. All right. Good job, Bay. Good job, Bay. Good job. Oh yeah. Come on, Bay. Oh, I left my walking stick. Oh man. Oh well. Be careful right through here. Will do. Here we are at water crossing number, I done lost count. Y'all, I'm really enjoying this trail. It's uh, we've decided we like the more difficult trails than the uh, medium trails or the easy trails because it's more adventurous. We get to cross lots of water, get to climb hills, we had a mudslide back there we didn't film because we were too scared of falling on our faces. But we needed to hold a rope to go down a hill. Come to find out, uh, we'd gotten off the trail some, and that was the way back to the trail, so that's what we did. Fun stuff. We just got across this creek behind us, and wouldn't you know it, when the camera's not going, I was clumsy. Darn your bad luck. This one was a bit more harrowing. I could not film that one. That water running over next to the big boulder, the challenge was getting Bay to cross that. I had to pick her up and drag her over it. It's about knee deep in that little rivulet there and it's moving fast. It's gorgeous down here though. Humid beyond belief, but gorgeous. You hold on that rope. It's on your shoe, you're fine. After going across the little rope thingy and scaring the crap out of me, we're at the first swimming hole. Oh, that water's cold. And there's a rope swing I want nothing to do with. The rocks are slippery.
Come on, babe. You got it. She's all, it's slippery, Mom. I don't know what to do. Packs off so they can play. She's like, I like this. <laughs> Good girl, Bay. Good girl, Bay. Bay knows she can swim now. She's happy. She's just going to do laps now. Might as well get comfortable. Was that a fish? Yeah. No way. She doesn't eat fish. She did. She chomped at it. She chewed it. She swallowed it. She's having a blast now, Chris. Come on. No, mom, no. I finally found water, I'm staying. <laughs> let, her, let her enjoy herself. Look at that. You can do it, it's like stairs. Great tinker. You okay, Tink? Keep going. You got your bag caught? You're good. Go on. I determined that the dogs probably will not be able to go along on the side of that bank, but Ray's going to go check it out. We made it. That's the devil's bathtub right there. Doesn't look like much. It's about six feet wide and so deep you can't see the bottom even when it's calm. Ray, you didn't want to get in there? Why not? You think it's too cold for me? Probably not. You want to go do it? Is it colder than the water we've been walking through? I'm thinking I do. <laughs> little cold oh my god that was so much fun i say anybody who comes out here has got to jump in there i don't care how cold it is right you've got to go back and jump that is so worth it <laughs> i'm cold i must so if i must i must Find the dragon pole. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut holes through my shirt with my nipple. Jesus. That was so worth it. But that was so cold. <laughs> so. Oh, that was fun. So fun. We're back. That was a great hike. Uh, it's a lot of fun next week on the local pond.
Make sure to like and subscribe.